Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Foundation President Bob Resiniti. Thank you. I created that video just about three years ago, and it was supposed to be played at our first event, and it never did. So I told Chad I want to play it on the second event, and we didn't play it. <clears throat> but we played it this year. And I made that video with a bunch of memories of Bobby and our family. As overwhelmed as I am of the turnout, I'm sad. I'm sad because I miss my son. And parents that lose children, at least I can speak for myself and my wife and others that I know, we put on this big facade that everything's okay. But inside, my heart is broken and I miss my son a lot. <clears throat> and I've heard things this week and yesterday and today, like outstanding, unbelievable, overwhelming. And I would give it all up, everything I have to have my son back. But I know that's not possible. I know I can't have him back. I will be reunited with him and that makes me happy. So shortly after our grieving and the support of everybody in this room, we started to think of what we could do. So we started this foundation to help in the healing process, to help others. And every time we help a parent that lost a child, even if it's a little bit, it helps heal our broken hearts. And that's a good thing. So when you see Diane and I, and we're smiling, and we give high fives and all that, we're happy to see you. But know that our hearts are broken, and, and there's going to be a hole in our hearts as long as we live until we're reunited you with know, our body. And I just wrote this one note down because it's so important. When you see somebody with a broken arm, broken leg, or some physical illness, you look at that person and, and you can see their pain. But you don't know the pain when a parent loses a child because it's hidden, but it's there and it's real. And these kind of events remind us of Before that. Before I get started on the next part, I just want to say that on July 12th of 2006, everything was good in our lives. And in a split second, on July 13th, 2006 at 108 p.m., our lives changed forever. And we realized that life is a gift and there's no guarantees for any of us for tomorrow. So we celebrate our children and we appreciate that moment because we don't know what tomorrow is gonna bring.